If you want to calibrate your Omnicam, you need two things. You need an Omnicam and you need the calibration sleeve. Go find this in the back of the drawer. It's critical. You got to go find it. So if we're going to calibrate our Omnicam, we have to go to our software again. We're going to go up to the secret screen up here and go to configuration, select devices. Now in our office, we have multiple milling chambers. We also have the new Zirconia Speedfire. So you'll see all those listed. Again, the green checks means that it's talking to it. Any red triangles that you see means it's just not talking to it. You probably have it turned off, so go turn it on but we're going to calibrate the Omnicam, which is on the right hand side, select that. So when this is selected, this is the same place that you select your sounds and the volume or acquisition hints, but we're going to go down here to this little wrench. It says calibrate. Click that on. Dig this up. This is the calibration sleeve. And what it's going to ask is the actual number that's on the sleeve. So this is our number here. Type that in and then say, OK. Ours is already remembered. So we're going to say OK to that. Now you're going to follow the directions. This says mount the calibration set with this number and screw the base of the set in completely. So if you look at the graphic right here, you want th this dial to be turned in all of the way. Take this little cap off. You're going to put the Omnicam in exactly the way it shows into the graphic. So the Omnicam goes in here. This is closed all the way. You'll even see what it's starting to see. And then hit OK. So now what it says is it's going to tell you to unscrew it one time. So I'm going to, and this will click. As I turn this, you'll hear a little click. And it goes into place and then you hit OK. It's going to tell you to do it again. Turn it till it clicks and hit OK. And you just keep doing this all the way out till it tells you to stop. You get to the point where it, it tells you to do something different and the graphic actually changes. It says insert the camera in the bottom of the calibration set. So we're going to take this out and then there's another sleeve for this to go into. It can only go into one, one way. We'll put that in all the way and hit OK to that. It'll take a few minutes while it's in the bottom of the sleeve, but eventually you'll get to the point where it says calibration successful. Okay, we got a green check. Awesome, we got it calibrated. Okay.